Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform an independent samples t-test using a Jupyter Lab in this case uh, and Python 3. Now the independent samples t-test can, uh, can be used if you have two categories or two groups and you want to know if there's a difference in means. There are actually two versions of this. There's the student version uh, and which is named after the person who wrote the articles uh, under a pseudonym. Not sure if that's the correct English word, student. And I think his real name was Gozet. Uh, and there's the Welsh version. The difference has to do if you assume variances to be equal or not, but Roxton actually even would claim that you would simply always use um, the, the Welsh version. So I'll, I'll simply uh, show both because often they can be done quite easily uh, if you know how to do one the other is relatively straightforward the example I'll be using is uh, a pandas data frame or actually a CSV file which I will load using uh, read CSV as a pandas data frame so I'll need pandas for that if you've never used pandas before then you probably need to install it first with this line and then you can import it using pandas and I'm gonna abbreviate it as PD so let's load that in and then I can finally load my file. I call it my data frame df uh, pd, that's then that pandas, read csv and then load the file. And then I'll show the header which means that it will show me the first five rows uh, starting at zero so that count up to four. Now for this example I need a binary field so something that has two groups and I need a scale variable to calculate the mean over. So I'm going to be using gen gender, which only had two options, male or female, and over grade, which was the overall grade. So I'll call that my bin for my binary and my scale, and I can simply select those fields by putting in their names between apostrophes, and that should now have two variables. Let's have a quick look using the values count for the my bin, and indeed you'll see that there was only male or female to choose from. We then need to separate all the scores, so all the scores from the scale variable, based on that male female. So I'm going to call that my category 1 and my category 2. And the first one is if it's equal to male, and if it's and the second one if it's equal to uh, female. And that will give me a list with true or false. So for category 1 it shows a true if it was indeed male and a false otherwise. So then we can select those uh, from the scores by saying well I have my scale and then my category 1 which is that list of trues and false for category 1 and it will only then select if it's a true. So this should give me my male and female scores separately. If you know of any other faster way of doing that, just let me know in the comments. Then, to finally perform that independent samples t-test, um, I can use the SciPy library stats. So if you've never used SciPy before, use pip install SciPy. And then, uh, with the explanation sign there, exclamation sign I think it is, and then load uh, the t-test independent function. Shift enter. And then we can use t-test, independent, my cat scores 1 and my cat scores 2. And that will be the student version. And like I said, the Welsh version assumes variances are not equal. So if I set equal variances to false, then I get the Welsh version. So in this case, you can see that I get the t-statistics, so the t-value, and I get the significance value of it. So um, the technical definition for a p-value or significance is um, the value, uh, the chance of a uh, the chance of a result similar or even more extreme if the assumption about the population would be true. Now in this case, the assumption is that the two means would be equal. So in this case, um, the p-value is above 0.05. Um, which we uh, usually then consider high, so we wouldn't reject that assumption. The assumption was that the two means are equal, so we're not rejecting that ID yet. 
if it would have been below 0.05 then I would have rejected it and then the two means would be significantly different now if you're really interested uh, I also have in the appendix um, I'll explain how you can do it using the formula so if you want to dive in a little bit deeper into this uh, I'll put a link to this Jupyter notebook in the description so then you can download and go over this if you want to yourself alright that was it I hope this video was helpful and thank you for watching